What's the best height that you should be cutting your lawn at? Now that's one of the most common questions I get, and in this video I'm going to answer that and help you figure out what's the right height for you. These tips apply to cool season types of grass. There are two types of grass in the country. There are warm and cool season, and you can see here which type you have. The first myth about grass is that it needs to be cut at all. Grass is a type of plant that would be very happy to grow as big as possible. The reason we cut it is because of course it looks better in our homes. Cool season lawns can be cut as high as 5 inches all the way down to under an inch, but the height you select can have a big impact on the amount of time you'll spend and more importantly the amount of money you'll put into your lawn. And you might think there's no way your lawn could be healthy growing at such an ultra low height, but most plants can be adapted to be grown at any height. If you take for instance bonsai trees, many people think these are dwarf trees, but they're actually full size trees that are trained and grown in a certain way so that they'll maintain their small height. But if they stopped maintaining that height, these would continue to grow back to full size trees. And that's exactly how it works with your lawn. You're going to keep that grass cut at a lower height than it would naturally try to reach. So now you know you can actually cut your lawn at any height you want, so why not cut it ultra short and have it look just like a putting green at a golf course? Well before you do that you've got to understand the magic number, and that's about 2 inches. To maintain your lawn at 2 inches or below will require a different type of mower. This is called a real mower. Now this one is a great value and it's made by Allet, but it does cost thousands of dollars and you'll be mowing your lawn every day. Now if you're committed to this look and you're willing to put up with the money and the work, it really can give you a great result, but for your average homeowner, 2 inches or less is not going to work out. Now as we get away from the magic number you can cut your lawn anywhere from 2 inches to 4 and a half inches. Now for these cutting heights you don't need a special mower, you can just use a regular walk behind mower like this or a rider. So now where do you cut your lawn knowing that you can cut it between 2 inches and 4 and a half inches tall? Well many people will tell you that if you let it grow long you'll have so many less weeds and it'll be that much healthier, but in my experience it's never been the case. I never noticed any difference at all whether I cut short or long. If you have any doubts go by anyone's yard that almost never cuts their lawn. It looks like a mess and of course between all the grass blades are plenty of weeds. Cutting at 4 inches or above has some major disadvantages. Now if you've got kids, pets or other activities on the lawn, you're going to get marks like these. And they not only look bad, they're bad for the grass. It can allow the blades to get damaged more easily, but more importantly when you're mowing those sections won't get cut. My recommendation is if your lawn is frequently used and sees a lot of activity, cutting around 2.5 to 3 inches can give you great results. The lawn will be more durable against that foot traffic and you can still use a regular mower and it won't take you forever to take care of it. And if your lawn doesn't see a lot of foot traffic you can go ahead and cut at a taller height. Somewhere between 4 and 4.5 four and inches should work out just fine. And if you don't know where to start and you're looking for a perfect height to begin with, I would recommend 3 inches. That's a good starting point and you can see how your lawn does and adjust it accordingly to your needs. So the perfect height for your lawn is really what you want to do. You can go ahead and cut your lawn ultra short and get a real mower if you're willing to spend the time and money to maintain it. But for most people I recommend 3 inches is a perfect cutting height. That's a good height that will allow you to stand up to some foot traffic but not require an excessive amount of maintenance. I hope this video helped explain the differences and may help you decide what height is right for you. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.